So hello and welcome back to the lake where I just scared those poor mallard ducks. I think half to death. They were down in front of the boathouse and I came down here to sit down and talk about my week and the poor things didn't know I was coming and went flying off making all sorts of noise. They're a really cute pair. I'm kind of hoping that maybe they'll nest and raise their babies near here. I don't think I've ever had babies, like brand new babies, hatched here in like my dock area. They're on the lake a lot. But I want to watch babies. So I hope everybody's doing good. It's, it's been an interesting week. You know, we had a day with lots of sun, and then we had snow, and then we had more sun, and then we had rain, and then we had more sun, and today it was rain again. Although, with little breaks of sun. So, you know, it is not terrible. Also, you can tell that spring must be here because I'm seeing stupid little black flies, which are very annoying. I'm sure that they will start biting soon. And the chipmunks are out. We love chipmunks. Haven't seen any mosquitoes yet. Not complaining about not seeing those. And yeah, if it stays in the 40s and 50s, I might even start to believe that it really truly is spring this time. What are they doing over there? The ducks are like, we would like to come back to where we were, but there's a stupid human there now. They're so cute. Not nearly as cute as the ducks that hopefully I will put the footage in after I am done sitting down here and talking because some of the little weird black and white ducks were actually down right over here this morning and my son got video of them that hopefully will be good video. Like, that would be kind of cool. But yeah, it's just sort of been a week. Oh, and there is Poe. Let's see if I can actually get him on camera. I thought I heard somebody flying in. Huh. Really all we can see is Poe's shoulder. He's such a pretty boy. I'm fairly sure that I also saw Poe's mate Lenore earlier. She came in and you might want to, you know, you might ask, how do you tell the difference between Poe, who I have decided must be the male, and Lenore, his mate? And honestly, oh, sorry about the wind noise. It's, it all comes down to size and Lenore just has a certain gracefulness about her. She's a very pretty girl. Also, she's a lot more shy than Poe. Poe, having been around for the last several years, even if I can't get very close to him, he's not nearly as afraid of me as poor Lenore is. I'm like, Lenore, you know, I really like you. And she's like, yeah, great. Leave me alone. Also, I'm trying to get pictures of him flying, but it's almost like he knows that I'm trying to get pictures of him flying so that we can look at his tail and be sure that he's a crow. And he just isn't cooperating. I'm 99.999% sure that Poe is not a raven. It would be cool if Poe were a raven. I love ravens. I also love crows. They're just smart. 
Oh, are you going to take off for me now that I'm actually focused on you? It's always so much fun to watch them. And the dumb little squirrels, too. Hello, dumb little squirrel. I don't think the squirrels have babies yet, but they are getting very close. They will be having babies soon. Some of them are looking decidedly chonky. Look at that puppy. He's such a pretty boy. Alright, I don't know if that was enough to actually see his rear end or not while he was flying. We'll go bother the squirrel. The squirrel's like, no you won't. I'm gonna take off. So yeah, I have a lot of cleanup to do. But the squirrel's like, what are you doing? Why are you looking at me? But I feel like I always have a lot of cleanup to do this time of year. They always look so confused when I come off the deck and into their territory. The squirrel's like, what are you doing? <laughs> We didn't have too much, like, storm rack this year, but this tree, this birch tree, kind of dropped its top, so I've got to clean that up, and the branches, and then actually plant stuff, and do all of that other cleanup nonsense. Right now, I feel like that's a possibility. I don't feel like I'm going to get covered in snow, which is a very good thing. I got the potato bed turned, and I even sprinkled some nice uh, fertilizer bits, and then I have to turn it again and finally plant my potatoes. Plans, plans, always have plans. And I roughed up this ground over here and I scattered a bunch of wildflower seeds. And now we're going to cross our fingers and hope that this patch of bare ground does something that does not involve being bare. And you can tell it's spring because the flowers are blooming. I would get all of this raked up, but I was reading the other day that you really shouldn't begin to like rake up your debris and stuff until after it's been, I think, steady in the 40s for at least a week. And then all of the queens, the queen bees, have moved out of the leaf litter that has been hiding them. And we like our bees. I just watched a Zay Frank video all about bees yesterday. And now I just want like my own little colony of bumblebees. That would be fun. <laughs> I heard the duck. Let's see if we can see the duck, and then I probably should get this. Oh, I saw him. I don't know if you guys saw him, but I saw him. The female was quacking, and the male flew in to go land with her. Oh, and more ducks. Anyway, that was my week. I have things to do which hopefully the rain and crossing my fingers no more snow won't derail like I have to do something with this strawberry bed. You can't tell it's a strawberry bed right now, although that does look like a strawberry blossom. So maybe it's not hopeless. But I have to think of something better to keep all of the critters from eating my strawberries this year because chicken wire just didn't cut it. I'll figure out 
something and I have to figure out some sort of a way to do chicken wire around the garden without making it so that it cuts my arms every time I go to weed. Things to think about. Anyway, I will put in any bird footage after this that I have and uh, yeah, we'll check in next week and see if I actually get any projects done. Have a good one. Mm-hmm. <laughs>